Sightings of UFOs flying across the lunar surface are still going on to this day. In Japan, amateur astronomers have videotaped spherical luminosities using Celestron telescopes. NASA's investment in studying UFOs on the moon was money well spent. Two ex-NASA mission specialists exposed in the 1970s that NASA astronauts had informed mission control that they had seen alien spaceships on the lunar surface. In 1976, an ex-NASA employee, Otto Bender, accused NASA of censoring transmissions from the Apollo astronauts by switching to secret radio frequencies and using code names for UFOs. Otto Binder claimed that he had heard an Apollo astronaut tell Mission Control that there were huge alien spaceships parked on the lunar surface, right in the middle of the Sea of Tranquility which had been chosen as the landing site for Apollo 11. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Few people took Otto Binder's account seriously, until another ex-NASA employee, a Moroccan named Maurice Chatelain, published a book in 1978 in which he claimed that two UFOs hovered above the Sea of Tranquility just before the historic moonwalk of Neil Armstrong. Maurice Chatelain was a NASA insider. He invented many of the radio and radar communication systems for the Apollo missions. He had 11 patents awarded for his inventions and had a high-level NASA security clearance, able to talk freely with senior NASA officials. In his book, he quoted radio transmissions between Apollo astronauts and mission control. According to Maurice Chatelain, the astronauts informed NASA that there were alien spacecraft lined up on the far side of a nearby crater, observing the historic moonwalk of Neil Armstrong. During his time working on the Apollo space program, Chatelain learnt that aliens not only exist, but that they have had a major role in shaping, and in some cases, destroying civilization. 
the title of Maurice Chatelain's book proves he was in no doubt that aliens had invaded planet Earth in the past. If you study the legends of the North American shamans, the mythologies of ancient Europe, the creation histories of the Australian Aborigines, or the ancient Vedic texts of India, and especially the Sumerian clay tablets from ancient Iraq, we find that all great civilizations on the face of planet Earth tell one similar story. That is, in the distant past, people from the stars visited planet Earth and displayed fantastic technology. Sometimes they genetically engineered humans. Sometimes they directly interbred with humans. These so-called sky gods always visited in spectacular flying vehicles. And the watchers from the sky saw the daughter of men who are beautiful and they prayed with them. And the children who are giants who become rulers not of human flesh. They were called the Nephilim. The most ancient written texts on planet Earth date from the Indus Valley and make up a corpus of works called the Vedas. The Bhagavad Gita is an ancient Hindu text which is at least 5,000 years old. This epic mythology inspired the character known as Darth Vader in the Star Wars movies. The Bhagavad Gita described many gods of the stars flying down to planet Earth in alien spacecraft called Virmanas. The ancient Vedas tell us that there are multiple inhabited planetary systems in the universe called Devas, which are ruled by a universal government of beings with superhuman powers and technology, including the power of telepathy and nuclear weapons powerful enough to destroy an entire planet. The Hindu legends tell us that the Virmanas were like flying saucers, which had stealth technology, able to make themselves invisible, and were able to detect enemy craft at great distances using a form of psychometric radar. 